Notice, this is a re-upload of the original video on the Geek Joe channel. A link will be provided in the description. Thank you. Good day everybody, Geek Joe here. Today, I'm going to bring to you the Dell PowerEdge R610. This will be part one of an ongoing series on the channel, and this is why I'd highly recommend this server for home use. So, get yourself a cup of joe, and let's get started on with the video. So to start off, let's take a look at the front of the system. We have two USB 2.0 inputs, a basic DVD-ROM drive, a Super VGA input, a very useful display which I will explain soon, and six hard drive bays. These drives are hot swappable and I have four of them in use currently. I will take out drive two for an example. These are all 500 gigabyte drives and I'll explain more about how these drives are set up during the specifications. Now for a display, I have it set on the IPv4 address for the server. However, Dell gives you many different features that you can provide on the display, such as power, the host, as well as the temperature of the system. This becomes very useful when you do have it in a rack, and it gives you easy management of the server and how it's running when you can't view it from the inside. Since these systems are pretty loud when they are in racks, it is very hard to tell the temperature, and it's very nice to have this convenience of the display. Something interesting is that the information button actually flashes the screen. To be honest, I have no idea why, but I guess it's nice to have that feature as well. Moving on, let's go over on the specifications of the system itself. So, we have 32 gigs of DDR3 RAM, 2 Intel Xeon E5645 clocked at 2.4 gigahertz. These are hex core processors as well. It currently runs Windows Server 2016. It has four 500 gigabyte hard drives configured in RAID 5. It has two power supplies, basically because if one fails, the other one saves it. They're not running on both of them at the same time. And it has a Matrox 8 megabyte onboard video card. Now taking a look at the rear of the system. I didn't take it out because it's all configured right now, so I might as well just show you guys in pictures so you can take a look. So, we have one 1 gigabit Ethernet controller on the side. A serial port, which is kind of interesting because serial is kind of obsolete, but I guess it becomes useful at times. Um, another adapter for that VGA port. Two 2.0 USB ports. Four 1 gigabit Ethernet ports. And this becomes very useful, especially when you have two different networks like my house. And those are both power supplies on the end. Once again, only one of them is running at one time. Now just a quick disclaimer, I'm not being sponsored by Save My Server in any way, shape, or form. This is just a distributor that I did purchase it from on eBay, and I got it for about $240 including the tax. I don't know about you, but a server with these specs, that's a good deal. Now I will provide a link in the description if you do want to purchase one of these servers, but I'm going to do a quick little slideshow about the specifications listed on their posting. Now do I recommend this system? Absolutely. This server does provide enough flexibility for anything you really want to do at home, and it really works for me pretty well. We have a home business that we run here, and I'm telling you, the way we have it set up is so useful. In part two, like I said earlier, we will demonstrate all these things on the system itself. However, keep in touch for part two, and we'll see you then. Thank you.